up tilt and you might be dead. That's true. But uh, the Shoto's obviously, especially with uh, Ken here, uh, also a very scary character. Once you get to about 80 or 90, uh, some people have been complaining, you know, when you see those sure you can combos and uh, <laughs> just seem to die. <laughs> that's just, so that's just what it is. Yeah. So unfortunate. So we're going to be getting into our game one here. Going to Town and City. I feel like Town and City is actually a pretty solid stage for Snake, just because he just has those three platforms for grenades. There's so much you can do with his C4 also. For sure. In these tight situations. Actually, I... Oh, as, missing as the fair. Uh, nearly dying for it. Yeah, as much as we know that Snake is a very uh, projectile-heavy character, I think we're going to see a lot of, like, these close-quarter combats uh, coming up here because, um, obviously, you're going to see Ken oh. forcing a lot of close-range situations, and Snake is going to have to combat that. I love when we did that Nikita. He, he had a chase. He had a chase him that Nikita just in time. Oh, and he see? did spike him with the grenade. That is oh, man. so sad. That's really so unfortunate. unfortunate. Oh, he's already got him the C4. Ooh, okay. So we're going to see what Andres can do here because uh, obviously Jay Scorp got off to a very fast start. So it's going to be interesting to see how he kind of combats this uh, deficit here. He racks up this damage to try to even up the game. Oh, but the snake, uh, snake has himself sticky. This might be yeah, he's got his own C4. Oh, he just gets a grab in there and he just swaps over. It'll be fine. Oh, man. Oh, he's got the C4 on Ken? Okay, yep. Okay. Yep, now it's on Ken. Oh, uh, shield. Oh, super grenades falling down. I don't know why he didn't go for a sure you can die. I mean, I don't know the character too well, but I feel like it would have killed. You know, we just. I think he's just trying to play just so safe and just trying to make sure that he's playing Snake's game the right way, you know? Because Probably. Snake is just always controlling the momentum no matter what you're doing. That's true. He, he just put down two grenades, put down a C4. Do, do a few up smashes. Oh, no, there's that raw shoryuken. Yeah, Shuriken's so going to be able to take that first stock off there, but, I mean, he's already struggling so much. Jace Corp's really just running away with this game. Yeah, I mean, Snake is just able to stop Shoto's and grenades because Snake is just... If you're close quarters, grenades just kind of stop. All, unless. And right there, that's the Shuriken. That's the Shuriken I was talking about, man. I'm saying no to just what I was saying earlier. The snake is obviously not going to stop the Shoto power of just sure you can combos. So yeah. awesome. And that was really quick, too. That was very fast. I, I was only talking for, what, maybe like 10 seconds? This stock Something was like gone. That. So, I mean, we're back to an even game, but um, if Andres can get another opening like that again, I mean, Snake's at about 27%. Uh, it could be a quick game. Snake barely came back from that recovery. That was a risky forward air. Oh, oh man, that count, that, get the grenade oh. saved him. Woo! <laughs> saved him from mad damage. Snake is so unfair, but I love it. And are we gonna? Okay, I think he's just oh, kind of racking up damage there, so he can get the uh, absolute uh, the confirm once he gets that sure you can coming up. Uncle oh, Fortnite, keeping him on his feet. Oh, the grenade! Oh no, Ooh. sorry, that is a. Did you know grenade to back air on Ken was a true combo? <laughs> yes, sir. I knew I'd win. No, uh, I was actually playing 1v1s against my buddy. He's a snake man. I was going Little Mac. And literally, I upbeat him once, and his grenade blew up my upbeat. And then I upbeat again to kill him at the top. Like, grenades just sometimes help the opponent more. Let's be real here. Absolutely. I don't know what it is, because... um. It's sometimes like you see a character and they got a great projectile item, right? Like for instance, Rob, right? Rob's Rob's gyro, super great. But um, for whatever reason, it just feels like other characters play the gyro better than Rob does. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you ever got into a situation where like um, you see a player, like another, just another character in general, this grabs a uh, the gyro when Rob had it out, and all of a sudden they get some sort of combo of like 40, 50%. <laughs> it's, just, it's just crazy. I see that happen often with uh, Snake's Grenades too. So, I mean, yeah. fun fun little ending to the match. Um, Andre's taking the the first game there, so. Okay. What seed is he? It's also really unfortunate because another character that's just like that is King K. Rule. As soon as he loses his crown and the enemy picks it up, it's just, 
It's just oh. so so troubling for K. Rule because that crown is so strong off stage. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what stage you're going this time. What the, I don't know if they'll go Town of City again. I feel like next one might be I don't know like Battle. Oh, Everton. looks like we're going right to final destination. All right. Interesting pick by the snake there, though. Uh, I feel like the Shotos really thrive on stages like this. Um, just, you know, straight across, no platforms have to really deal with. But actually, Snake also does really well here, too, though, because it is a kind of wide open spot. You don't have to worry about all these other platforms ruining the grenades or the uh, up, up smashes or anything like that. Yeah, I agree. I mean, just being able to get all these grenades just all over the place. Ooh. Oh, wow. That, that's attack that's into the Kita. Mm, beautiful. Oh! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I honestly just can't believe he did that, to be honest. That was so absurd. So wrong. Interesting. Oh, All right. Okay. Gets a, forces him to avoid the C4 by jumping and making him go to that back air. It's so clean. This snake is actually super nice. He tried wow. another uh, another RPG there, but uh, Andre's getting the uh, can in there to take out that first stock off of uh, Jace Orb. He does have the C4 on himself, though. Yeah, but as soon as he gets that grab, that's the... Oh, wait, actually, the C4 fell off. Oh, it's off. It's off now. It's on Andres. There we go. There we go. Oh, he, he just went under the, the yeah. side beat. Very interesting <laughs> option. Quite quirky, I must say. All right. I, I think what's so interesting about Snake's grenade, it's just, it's so silly that Snake receives the less hitbox of the grenades. And the and the opponents actually receive a, a, a bigger hitbox. Experience. Yeah, it's really infuriating to deal with. The snake is going to get so much off of that. J Scorp going to get Andres off, off the stage, stage and finish it with the Nikita missile. Yes, sir. All right, let's see if we can keep this lead this time though, because uh, <laughs> Andres uh, obviously not unfamiliar with uh, crazy comebacks. Yes, sir. I think the main problem for Andres is that J-Scorp just keeps on hanging on to those grenades, which just makes Andres a lot harder for him to approach. Because oh. J-Scorp can, can just hold on to that grenade and shield. Andres is trying to get the down tilt shield poke, and it'll just blow up on it. And see, Andres is actually only like Yeah. So it's just yeah, really Yeah, because obviously, tough uh, like, like you mentioned, uh, Shoto's especially can uh, thrive so much on putting down that shield pressure, but, you know, Snake just got to sit and shield with a with a grenade, and, I mean, he's gonna hit it. Ken's gonna hit it, it's gonna ruin the combo. Oh, he's fishing for it now. He, he is looking for the up smash. Oh, barely missing the up smash. Oh, no, Yep, good call out by J Scorp there. Nice. All right, well, the set is now one to one. I believe taking that game. I believe this is the best of five. It's top is eight, it so it should five? be. Yeah. Okay. Just be sure. Alrighty. I would say since Snake won that, I would say he's probably gonna ban like FD and maybe Kalos. I feel like that'd be his best options, and then he would just hope for a, uh, I don't know, another pick such as. Hope maybe Triplats like Triplats. Snakes thrive on those. Because they can just put just such good setups with their with his projectiles, so good. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. He did go to um, I mean, I don't know what uh, well, Andres banned the last game, um, but he did go to Final Destination. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's just comfortable with you know, just going with these long flat stages that don't have the platforms in general. I mean, a lot of snakes, especially good snakes, they all have very unique play styles when it comes down to it. So. He could have a different approach to true. these types of things. Very true indeed. Okay. Let's see what the map pick is going to be. They're probably, yep, same, same characters as one does. And here we go. Stage is. Drum roll, please. Oh, it's Smash Bros. Okay. Two, one, okay. Go! Um, All right. Well, Smashville's not actually bad for a snake in general because um, 
it's it, I've, it's a very small stage, and while that can be a, a bit of a problem with a more mobile character like Ken can be, uh, it, that top platform, Snake can control that nonstop. It also, his up tilt can reach up to that platform, so for any reason he comes down on there uh, with a bad landing, he can catch it really easy. Did the up tilt actually reach that platform? Yes. That yeah. is so I remember, cool. uh, I remember one set in particular. It was Ally versus the Buzz back at Hound. Um, and what happened was uh, the buzz was on that top platform and they kept running back and forth and shielding because um, the buzz didn't want to get up tilted and Ally was threatening that hard. So Smashville, I don't think is a very bad stage for, for Snake at all. Andre was kind of running away with Snake's stock until he just started using like six projectiles at the same time. And now he's yeah. just kind of losing it. Well, that's just what it takes, man. Snake gets like one projectile on you, and all of a sudden it just feels like six more uh, just start hitting you because you're struggling to get back. Ooh, just missing that up tilt. Oh, oh down there in the up B sure you can. Scooped that him. Is so sick. Scooped him for that first stock. Uh, Andres with a pretty good lead right now. I have actually a decent lead. But not if he keeps hitting these grenades. He's gonna die soon. Andres might die to a few grenades if he just keeps on going for the full-on non-stop approaches. He just needs yeah. to slow it down a little bit just to keep that stock interesting. Oh, up smash just might be the way. Oh, Ooh. shield is almost dead. Yeah, that shield was Hanging disappearing on, really quick. Life. Oh, All right. on there, sure. you can, oh. oh, that's the stock. stock. Yeah, that's, yep. yeah. <laughs> Easy for money. sure. For sure, 160, yeah, give me your stock, bro. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, down air. And oh, oh. <laughs> So yeah, we're playing Street Fighter in this game now. Yeah, there is a C4 on the ground underneath that platform, though. Be sure to watch out for that. Oh, he's, he's playing. Andre's just walking away from him. Oh. Gonna hit all those nares. C4 going on. Andre should have upbeat right there. So oh, hey, actually, he would have got him. Yeah, he would have actually got him with him. For sure, you can... Oh, Ross, where you can just <laughs> take the game. Just take that one wow. instead. <laughs> so, this set I, is so back and forth right now. It I mean, is actually a very close set. It's very fun to watch. This is actually really awesome. So, Andre's up 2-1. Very interesting game so far. Keeping it real. Absolutely. Uh, so, yep. As you mentioned, Andre's up 2-1. Um... Man, I'm not even sure what I, I'd want to see J-Scorp do to kind of counteract this play. Um, it They've both been playing super well. It's just when one gets uh, any sort of advantage onto the other, they just capitalize on it as best they can. So, Kalos would honestly probably be a good idea, assuming Andres doesn't ban it. I feel like that'd be, that'd be good, too. But I'm not too sure, because I just don't feel like Snake would just thrive on Kalos. Well, I'm it's not, not so much about the thriving, it's about um, avoiding or at least giving yourself a higher uh, threshold when it comes to Destroyukens. Because Kalos has that super high ceiling. That's also really true. Sure, yeah. Kalos does have the... Oh? They want PS2? Okay, well PS2 is not a bad stage either for both characters, I would assume. Uh, very big stage for Snake to move around, but obviously Ken doesn't really struggle with uh, trying to chase down his opponents. Yeah, I feel like Ken also has this platform, so he just kind of gets something going on that one platform. Sure, you can move at a much earlier percent than usual. Actually, it. you know what I realized? Last game, uh, I didn't see Scorp uh, pull up grenades and hold shield as much. That is true. Oh, oh good. Just like that, that, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, Jay Scorp. I think he knows. He knows he got caught. <laughs> yeah, he, he just kind of knows that was kind of sick. He's got to ignore that. Ooh, the jab lock. Oh. Ooh, it's 80%. Oh, oh. he missed it. If he got that nair, it would have led to another stock. I usually hate playing this show zones, but this on is kind of going crazy. He's going off right now. There it is. Stealing these stocks and just taking candy from a baby. Doesn't even care about j in the mentality right now. He's going to destroy you in any way or fashion. Oh my lord. Please. Oh no. Yeah. And, that and that's it. That's a. Oh! Good DI. Andre's getting so, 
so funky right now. They're going for raw story Oh yeah, he he just wants to end this game now. He knows he's up two one. He wants to finish it right here. I can't believe that grenade shield poke it was barely like on his toes. Oh, God, you just gotta stop fishing for these. Just go, just get some sort of combo going, man. No, it's all about the style. It's all about just going through raw ones. I mean, he could go for a shield oh, break. Ken does have a very good shield break combo. He sure does. Oh, he's looking. Yeah, he's okay. That's the stock right there. No, I thought he was gonna go for the down, uh, down throw. No, it, it was because he was only at 147. He would have a read a roll for it to work. It was a good recovery, but he did end up losing the stock. It's okay. There's always a chance for JP3 stuff. So. Oh, almost there. I mean, he just gets a couple down tilts going. I mean, that just kind of leads to the rest of it. Ooh, oh, he's trying to take that stock real, real easy. Ooh. Jay Scorp is going for everything right now. He just hopes for some early stock. I mean, he's at 116. He gets caught up in one more, uh, one more Ken combo. I mean, that's pretty much it. Different kind of Ken combo. Shout out to Melee. And was just someone else in that game, but if only. Or he was going to go on, but I don't know. He, he's getting a little old. Yeah, anyway. you, just, you just know Andres just knows he's oh, controlling everything. He, he has. Oh, oh my god. He's doing whatever he wants. He's just messing around now. He knows that he's got score fearing for his life. Oh, oh shit. Going low for the LP turn to catch his recovery. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 just uh he's Does being rude. Have you just end first? the game, man. Just end the game. Snake's about to do it himself. Playing a patient game. Oh, help! We're just kind of let himself get blown up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. These Andres just keep on shield poking, or <laughs> or he's just not holding shield long enough. Andres oh, wow. could absolutely go end this game right now. He's just messing around. It's Snake is just uh, 200% just chilling. Look at He could, he probably could have shrieked them there. I think he just wants to throw. Like, I don't know what he what he's doing anymore. Dude, finish your food! That's for real. Oh my lord. He's trying to find some crazy reads. Oh, yeah, he's hoping to drop shield right there. You know what? All right, now, I, I hope Scorp wins this somehow. If Jay Scorp wins it somehow, that would actually be. Yeah. Oh my that god. Alright, sure you can get a catch snake's foot there, send it to the, the sky blast zone. Uh, Andre's gonna take it 3 1 over Jay Scorp. Really fun uh, set to watch there. Um, a lot of back yeah. and forth until that last one. Man, Andre's just went off. Andre's has just shown his show toast skill. He is obviously a master of the Street Fighter way and Smash Brothers. That Absolutely. He had a couple really good conversions there. Um, I think at about the 60, 70% range, we just led to that Shoryuken. So good stuff. That was amazing. I loved watching that set. Ugh. I hope to see more of some Andreas and hopefully finals. That'd be awesome. But, all right. All right. So I believe if we're staying on the winner side here, we're going to get Mark. Uh, PQ versus Dr. Mario. Oh, shoot. This guy doesn't play Dr. Mario. Oh, okay. I was saying, like, Dr. He's Mario. He's the Luigi main. <laughs> From what I'm seeing, he plays Luigi. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, like, if he is a Dr. Mario main, props to him. Uh, I'm disappointed. But honestly, if Dr. <laughs> if Dr. Mario had a better recovery, I think, I personally think he would be almost high tier. Ah, he's he so mid here for sure. I don't know. I, I 